that could Douglas here, your friendly neighborhood Canadian, with a little video, Muse Productions versus Rant and Ramsey, this little YouTube war that's been proving over the past 24 to 48 hours. Now, this whole this whole thing got started because Rant and Ramsey left a comment on Muse Productions' channel, criticizing him about his content and how it slowly declined ever since he left YouTube. Now, if you don't know who Muse Productions is, let me quickly explain. He used to be one of the best ranters on YouTube with good rants. His videos were well edited, he was funny, and he was just entertaining to watch, and that's why I subscribed to him. Okay, let's get into this. <coughs> so, oh jeez. Okay, alright. So much for your weekly mini rants on YouTube. There are so many reasons why you feel that they cannot be listed in an 1,000 character limit comment. You promise much and deliver nothing. You can't make an interesting video any longer without using content that belongs to someone else. Then bitch about not becoming a partner because of copyright violation. So you latch on and whore yourself to more charismatic video makers with more to offer and join the no name, no prestige, lame review utopia site on the promise of the ad revenue you can't get here. Fail, pure total epic fail. No longer will your half ass drivel plague my computer monitor. Now, if you saw the comment, he definitely does bring up some very good points. And to all you Muse dick writers out there, let me tell you something. That's because I like Muse Productions doesn't mean I, I have to like every single thing he puts out. And to be honest, I'm a fan, I'm an, but I'm an honest fan. And to be honest, I thought the whole video was completely unnecessary and didn't need to be made. It made him out to, it made him out to be a giant prick. And it was him being butthurt over Rant and Ramsey's opinion, so much so that he had to make a whole 14 minute 38 second video about it. Come on, Muse. Really? Really? You're overreacting because of Rant and Ramsey's opinion in of you, so much so that you had to make a whole video dedicated to bashing him? Is it... Are you that afraid of some... Are you that afraid of criticism? Are you that afraid of Rant and Ramsey? In my opinion, his videos are much better than anything Muse Productions have put out recently. Do you have to make this video bashing him? Really? Two things that got under my skin is one, he complained about the video length, but if you actually watched it, and I've watched some of this guy's videos, his rants are very well done, they have very good points, and he's just, you know, he's definitely a very intelligent person, and I mean, I can see why people like his videos, so the time limit doesn't really mean anything because it's entertaining and just flies through. And another statement that got under my skin that he made is that he said, why, why should I care if Rant and Ramsey likes my videos, why should I care, blah 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 blah. Which is pretty funny since he cared enough to make the video about him, so that statement's pretty hypocritical. Oh god, if I don't even all admit, Muse Productions videos have slowly turned to crap recently. I mean, it's con I mean, there's only so many times you can rant about music and bad music artists out there before it just gets redundant. And I feel Muse Productions videos have gotten pretty redundant. If this quality is the iceberg, then Muse Productions and his videos are the Titanic. Slowly sinking down into the ocean, and it appears most of his fans aren't going with him, and nobody really watches his videos anymore, and he's n getting nowhere near the amount of views he used to get. Which is sad, it's uh, just another talented video maker on YouTube slowly turn into crap. I'll even go as far as to say that Jamiella's videos are much better than anything Muse Productions has put out recently, because her rants are entertaining, she's funny, the quality is the quality is very good, and they haven't dipped it hasn't dipped down ever since I've subscribed to her. Now look, I still like his work at the end of the day. His videos are still somewhat good, and I mean good in in the sense of the work he put into it, but everything else is just crap. You know? It, it really is. Muse Productions, it it's pretty obvious to me that you cannot take criticism in the slightest. I mean, without criticism we can't get any better. You can use criticism to improve your, your videos and make them better. But since you can't take criticism in the slightest, and if you can't even take a little bit of criticism, then you should probably stay on Blip TV and ReviewTopia.net because there are always going to be people that are critical of your work and not everybody is going to like what you do. You know? And you, and you say... you. Why should you care if Ranton Ramsey comments? Or if Ranton Ramsey likes your videos, 
but you cared enough to make the video about it, you giant hypocrite. Ah, jeez. I know I'm probably going to get flamed by Muse fanboys, but I don't care. I mean, Muse Productions is slowly the Titanic going down into the ocean, and most of his fans aren't going down on the sinking ship with them. It's, it, it's, it's sad to see, but I think Muse Productions is slowly becoming irrelevant. But he said it himself that his channel is very close to being suspended because of copyright. And it's a shame. It's a shame when someone who's genuinely talented has gone down the crapper. I mean, he's like what a lot of people have thought Eminem have gone down, has gone down. He's just a talented person that's just forgotten how to be talented. A talented video maker that's had to resort to, or, to overreact and get in butthurt when someone makes uh, has an opinion on him. It's truly sad, but, you know, the whole video was unnecessary. It was a dick move, and it just made him out to be a giant prick. Heck, there are many other better ranters and standers that are on YouTube. YouTube, other than Muse Productions, and their Anton Ramsey and, ja and John Uyella's videos are far better than any of the war stuff that Muse Productions has put out recently. Now, I, like I said, I still like his work, I still like the dude, I still think he's talented, but honestly, Muse Productions, if you ever watch this video, if you can't even take a little bit of criticism, and it's pretty obvious to me that you can't take criticism in the slightest, then you should probably stay on the TV and review Topia. Topia, because... Really, things aren't getting really any better for you here on YouTube. And you're pretty much... Yeah. Pretty, to pretty much, Muse Productions is pretty much dead. It's pretty much dead to me. The channel is, 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 is almost close to being suspended anyways, and his videos have just slowly turned down the crapper. What do you, how do you feel about the whole situation? Please leave, please leave a comment if you think this whole thing is stupid. You, you side with Undertaker Freak, you side with Randy, you side with Muse or whatever. I'll leave a link to both Undertaker Freak's video and Muse's video in the description. Anyways, this is that Kadugal signing out. Deuces.